One of the questions I get asked at least once a week is how do you aim up? Now I do answer everybody, try and answer as many as I can, but it's hard because I get a lot of messages. So the easiest way I suppose is to do a little short video and show you. You mainly want to be shooting in the air, obviously if there's any game that's roosting in a, in a tree or sitting in a tree high. So obviously you want to be knowing how to aim high, that's what a lot of the questions are. So obviously your normal stance, if you're going to aim your catapult or slingshot, whatever you want to call it, is that. So you, you, you don't change what you're doing there. All you're going to do with it is bring it up to 45, 90 degrees, whatever. You just want to bring it up slightly and aim like that. Because you never, ever, which should be common sense, stand underneath your target, directly underneath it if it's in a tree, and start shooting up. Because that's just going to end badly. Obviously the first thing that's going to happen, or one of the major risks that can happen with that, is obviously if you're shooting up and you hit a branch and that ricochet comes back, you don't want one of them, one of them anywhere near your eye, your face or anything like that, do you? So we need to protect our eyes at all times. Now, I would recommend eye equipment, protective glasses, something like that. I've been shooting a long time, so I don't use them. It's my preference. I recommend anyone should use them to protect your eyes. And then what I'll do now in a minute, I'll put something that'll imitate some game or a bird in a tree. We'll have a few shots at it and get some different angles so you can get a better picture of it. But it's as simple as that. So we'll uh, change the angle and hopefully I can hit something because I ain't been shooting a, a great deal. So we'll hope that we can hit what I'm trying to prove. So yeah. yeah. All right, we've got our pigeon. Just found that in the edge. There was about that much beer left in it, so I just had that, that was all right. Uh, <laughs> I'll try and get that in this tree above me. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm not jumping on that wall because I'm a fat bastard. So we're going to put it in that tree. And, yeah, demonstrate what we mean. So there's our can, there's our target. Like I said, if, you come and, if you're coming underneath with your target there, look at all the obstacles that's in the way, and you're directly underneath it. You're in clear danger from a ricochet from any of them branches obviously any target is not going to be quite as low as that but you would get things as low as that depending on which country you're in but you i wouldn't want to be shooting directly under there nobody wants to because that is just danger there's the target just there not sure if i want to be in frame here Hope you can see me. See now we've got a nice straight view. We ain't got to get too close to it. We ain't got to change anything. I want to stand a bit further away where I would normally shoot. The, a bird would normally be higher than this, but I'll show you the distance that I'd normally shoot at. Now any of them distances what I just showed you, the first one was a bit unrealistic but that would normally be my range what I would take a bird. If I couldn't get within any of those three ranges then I wouldn't be taking the shot because you're just going to injure a bird and it's going to take off. Something else that people asked a lot is um, how do you get up on a bird or a pigeon that can't get anywhere near them, how do you do it? Well when you're skinny and as nimble as me, it's a piece of birds, <laughs> no, You've, what I always do is a lot of the time I'll take like a one or two steps or three steps approach. So I'll quietly move one, two, three, 
stop and just scout my eyes and see if I can see anything. If I know there's a pigeon there, one of the main things is what you've got to do is cover this. Now this for any sort of game stands out like a sore thumb, a big smiley face. So you want some face covering as much as what you can get to try and blend in and obviously camouflage. So what well, you don't want to be doing that in a public place. I'm in a public place at the minute. So for me to be walking up and down here with my face covered, well, it's normal at the minute, isn't it? But normally, <laughs> a balaclava on and camouflage. I'm going to be long before I'm arrested, really. And that's that's the main tip for shooting, shooting high, shooting up. You're never directly going to shoot up. You always have to stand a distance away and a distance that you're confident that you can take and dispatch whatever you're going to shoot at. I'm going to have a little pedal down here. I have a few shots at something, try and get my eye in. I've not been doing a lot of shooting, so I'll chuck a target up, have a few shots, see if we can see anything about, I suppose. But yeah, that's pretty much that topic covered. So, any more questions on that, I won't be answering because it's in this video, so. <laughs> One of the things I will say as well is anytime you're doing any shooting, you should always get your eye in first. Get a small target and which is behind me in my catch box i'll give you a little tour of my catch box actually spinner in there hits the back all the balls drop in there i made that out of a 3d printer so yeah any target as big as that i can't remember what size i think it's 60 mil have a practice on that, get your eye in, dial yourself in, and then once you do once you're dialed in, then you're ready for shooting. Don't go cold without shooting anything first. If you're gonna look for a pigeon or a pheasant, rabbit, whatever, because you might get four or five you might only get four or five opportunities. And if you're not warmed up, you've missed your boat. So warm up first, get your eye dialed in then go and if the opportunity arises you'll be rewarded so we'll see the old catch box good boy Gulag. So there's your tips. That's your tip of the days. Um, yeah, take your time, cover your face. Aim high, like I said to aim on, an, on that angle. Aim how I said when you're shooting in the trees. Try not to take anyone with you because one's bad enough with the noise, two's even worse. And yeah, and also changing your frames. If you, if you pick a fresh frame that you're not used to shooting, don't expect to be shooting that exactly the same. Say for instance the fork width on this is 90 mil, 100 mil, I can't remember what it is. Say 90 mil, I pick up another TTF and it's only 70 mil. This all changes. And it took me a while to figure that out. But your yeah, anchor point will change on depending if you're not used to shooting the same width frame. So I used to pick up TTF and think, oh, I'm useless at this, can't hit nothing. Why well, can't hit nothing? So if that frame is different 
width is different, then this moves. So just bear that in mind, it's a little tip for you. And that's all for today's show. Show. <laughs> Steady.